Welcome. This is a short Nano platform demo December 2017 version. Nano is a nature research solution for fast insight into nanotechnology that was launched in June 2016. This video aims to show general platform features and how Nano can help researchers and students with some examples. Let's start from the homepage. The URL is nano.nature.com. On the homepage, you can start search using the search box. In addition, here we provided some information about how Nano can help, how we made Nano, and why Nano is important. On this page, you can also get quick uh, overview of the content and updates such as latest articles and Nano materials. You can also see what research community, including other advisory board members, is saying about Nano. Now, in order to see the full content of Nano, you can do a blank search by simply clicking the search button here. So Nano provides the results in three different sets under these three tabs, patents, curated summaries for Nano materials, and articles. Because the patent part of Nano is still under expansion and development, in this video we will focus on uh, results under the tab Nano materials and articles. So for the results under this tab articles, we use machine learning and do index full text of nanotechnology articles of journals from multiple publishers. You can see the article title, name of the authors, name and year of the publication, the abstract, and number of citations. You can also sort by relevancy, recency, or the number of citations. You have the ability to um, export the selected articles to reference managers choosing uh, desired format. You can also filter down the results by publisher like um, the journals from Elsevier, RSC, Springer Nature, ACS, Wiley and many more. You can also filter down by journal or by publication year. So now you may ask what is the advantage of this abstract and indexing part of Nano. So first of all, because Nano is applying machine learning that is based on a nanotechnology knowledge model, it can filter in nanotechnology related articles from all these journals. This means the number of irrelevant search results is greatly reduced and you can discover within more relevant results. Another advantage is that Nano provides quick insight into the content that is closely related to your search input. For example, if I am a user looking for literature talking about, uh, let's say, magnesium oxide nanoparticles and also zinc oxide nanoparticles. I do the search, get the list of the relevant articles, and then here, um, for this article, for example, I see the title, the abstract, and this part is unique and new. It says this article discusses zinc oxide nanoparticles, so what I'm looking for, with some connected concepts, and magnesium oxide nanoparticles with some others. In fact, these are the concepts that are connected to the search input and mostly discussed around it uh, within the full text of this article. More interesting, the insights from the same article could be different based on the search input. Let me show you this with one example. So imagine now I'm looking for literature talking about metal oxide, nanoparticles, and adsorption. So now if I get the same article because it was also relevant to this uh, new search inputs, so here is the same article. Now it says this article discusses adsorption, the new search input, with some other concepts. So as you see, the concepts are always close to your search input. And in fact, this uh, quick insight uh, information uh, uh, part of Nano um, will help the users and researchers to more precisely and uh, much quicker decide on the relevancy of the articles that they should download or read. Now, let's do a blank search and move on to the uh, second result set, that is nanomaterials. 
So for this part of uh, nano under the tab nanomaterials, we gather the information and data for thousands of nanomaterials and devices from multiple sources. So here you get the list of the nanomaterials and in fact the data here is extracted and curated by our team of subject matter experts. So here you have the uh, specific uh, search, um, a specific filter options that are dedicated to nanotechnology like uh, a specific uh, structure or uh, shape of a nanomaterial. You can also combine and use this filter option with for properties, so uh, different properties listed, and you can actually use this filter option. You can also narrow down to a specific journal, or you can even start from an application and get the list of relevant nanomaterials that people reported having that application. Now let's showcase one of these uh, nanomaterial uh, summary pages, that is, let's say, um, gold nanoparticle. So by clicking on that, I go to a curated summary page where the information about gold nanoparticles from uh, over 3,700 articles and some patents is gathered and presented in this structured way under these three, uh, under these um, sections. So properties. Here under the property, uh, you can see the general physical and chemical properties, catalytical and sensor properties. Um, you can see the nanomaterial variants like different um, size, dimensions, medium or support. And in front of that, the link to the original sources. Even uh, in front of the uh, sources, you can see if the uh, property that you are looking for in this article is based on an experiment or on a calculation or uh, if it was just proposed. And by that you can better decide if this is an article that you should read and download. By clicking here, you go to the uh, original publisher website for that article and then depending on if your organization has access to that article or not, you can read the full text or not. But the information here is already uh, abstracted and gathered from the full text of all of these articles. The second um, section of any of these uh, curated summary pages is applications that they are grouped for different uh, application types again nanomaterial variants linked to the original sources characterization you can see here biological effects and then you can search for a biological system like human for example and then get the list of um, uh, the uh, sources, people uh, uh, use that biological system and the test outcomes. You can also see the list of uh, preparation and synthesis methods uh, from uh, all these articles, stepwise visualized, reporting uh, production of that specific nanomaterials. And for any of these sections, as you can see, there is a search box uh, for better actually uh, filtering of the uh, information and data. So now let's go back to the uh, list of nanomaterials and uh, do a search. Imagine I'm a user looking for um, property of a specific nanomaterial, let's say TiO2 nanoparticles and their photoluminescence emissions. So I need to find the literature reporting that uh, property. So I receive, uh, as a result, a uh, summary page for TiO2 nanoparticles. By going to that page, based on over 1,800 articles, I see the information uh, reported and structured. So because I'm looking for a property that is emission, I can type it in the search box here and then get the list of emissions, nanomaterial variants, and the link to the original sources. So just by a few clicks, I got what I was looking for. Now, going back to the list of the uh, nanomaterials, let me do another search. In this case, I'm looking for literatures uh, reporting, um, let's say, characterization for a specific nanomaterial, like Fe3, O4 nanoparticles and their X-ray diffraction patterns. So I'm interested in uh, literatures reporting that. I click on the uh, curated summary page of that, so go to the page and there under characterization, 
just type x-ray diffraction and then under the x-ray diffraction uh, group I get the list of uh, tens of uh, literature uh, reporting that and the uh, information about different variants and so as you see just getting this collection of the articles for that specific nanomaterial and that characterization is uh, about some days and a few weeks of uh, uh, researchers and students and now it is just done by a few clicks now let's do another search in this case I am interested in an application let's say in lithium uh, ion batteries and I'm looking for um, options for anode material of that if I do the search in this case starting from an application I get the list of 900 uh, over 900 nanomaterials for example and then here is the list of nanomaterials people reported that application for and let's say if I'm interested in this one this is uh, methane dioxide that is actually the one that uh, people are doing research on because of the high capacity of that I go to a page for it and then uh, based on multiple articles uh, uh, let's say under the application part of that energy storage I see what are the articles people reported that a specific application that I am interested in so just by a few clicks, very clean and precise, I got the list of the relevant literatures. Now, let's go back to the um, article results sets, the abstract and indexing part of Nano. So I do a blank search again. And in this case, uh, I want to do uh, actually a search. So let's say I'm looking for um, articles talking about encapsulation in cosmetics. So I do this search. I want to show you uh, another advantage of this abstract and indexing part uh, and that is actually when you tick the checkbox here where the uh, list of nanomaterials uh, is um, added to the, to the uh, title of the articles abstract and the quick insight part and here in this case for example I can see that for this article there are three nanomaterials um, uh, discussing and if I click on one of these I go to a uh, curated summary page for that and without reading that article I can see what are the components and their ordering of that nanomaterial as discussed in that article I can see what are the properties reported in that article for this nanomaterial what are the applications they are focusing on the characterization and also I can see the, uh, the preparation steps of that all without reading the article and you can now imagine how much time I can save and how precise and quick I can be. Now, so let's um, summarize uh, what we were uh, actually uh, have been watching until now. So Nano brings three aspects together. On one hand, it is an abstract and indexing uh, this discovery tool that um, with this actually Nano can help you to advance your daily literature search with access to um, uh, of a machine learned index of nanotechnology articles by multiple publishers like Elsevier, ACS, RSC, Springer Nature, Wiley and many more. On the other hand Nano provides a unique database of nanomaterials data here you can find the detailed information from the leading titles on properties, applications, biological effects and preparation methods of thousands of nanomaterials and devices that is extracted and curated by our team of subject matter experts. And Nano is powered by nanotechnology specific functionalities like search by a structure, list of discussed nanomaterials beside article titles and also the nanomaterial variants. To request access and find out more about Nano, feel free to contact us by sending an email to nano at springernature.com. Thank you for watching this video.